Welcome back, friends. I'm so excited that you decided to join me today. I have some great DIYs in store for you that I'm really excited about, so we're not gonna waste any time. We're just going to jump right on in. So today I am bringing you one larger DIY. This is a general list of supplies you will need for it. And as you can see, I have a little helper for today's video. He is just probably wondering what I am doing here. And you're going to need a couple of these craft sticks. I got these two at my local Lowe's. I love working with these. They're only $1.89. But if you can't get them, you can also get these wooden stakes at your local Dollar General. And they're only a dollar. Both will work for this. Then we have these wire over the door coat hangers or towel hangers, whatever you would use them for. And I have some wire cutters here and I am going to cut off the ends that come up that would typically go over a door. Now I have four of these and we are going to cut the ends off to all four. So you're gonna have eight of these that you need to cut off. It's actually not all that difficult. On a couple of them, I just had to go back and forth a little bit and it snapped right off. Since this was such a larger project, I did have to do it on my living room floor, which is why you're seeing all of our animals here in this video. And as you can tell, he was not amused and just rolled over and went to bed. So I have all four of my hanging racks snipped and ready to be placed on the wood. So I am going to place the lower one exactly where I want it. So that way I can measure out how far the distance is and make sure I have my two wooden pieces space the same distance all the way to the top. Then I'm going to place the lower one and the very top one in place. I'm going to mark them off and secure them with my larger size clips that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. And again, I have the top one and the lower one in place. I'm going to get them nice and secure before I put the two in the center. Now I'm going to use my E6000 just because I wanna make sure this is definitely very secure so it can hold heavy items such as mugs and plates and things of that nature. So I'm going to be using E6000, putting them in place, putting the clips back on, and then I did set it aside to dry, not for a full 24 hours, but probably at least 15 hours. And it was nice and secure and I definitely don't think it's going to be moving anytime soon. So I've always wanted one of these mug racks, but for 80, 90, even $100 on Amazon or from some online stores, no thank you. And I've seen some other DIY versions, but wanted to come up with my own version. So it's not that much different. Um, I've just, the versions I've seen, they used the mop handles and I wanted to use wood instead of the mop handles, but you could definitely use those as an option as well. So once I have my upper and lower rack attached, then I'm going to measure out where the middle two need to be. And if you use a three foot piece of wood like I did, then to have everything the perfect distance, you're going to space them about seven and a half inches apart. So now these wood pieces that I pick up at Lowe's, they come already at this size, three feet. And then if you use the wood stakes that you can pick up at Dollar General instead, if you're not able to get these, they come at three feet as well. So that seven and a half inches worked perfect. So now I am going to take off my little clamp. I am putting a piece of wood underneath this for support. And I am going to add in some with my staple. Um, just because, again, there's going to be heavy items on here. I want it very secure. And once we get this spray painted, you are not going to be able to see them. You will not know there are staples there at all. So the security of knowing that my shelf is sturdy is worth adding a couple of those in per coat rack or towel hanger, whatever you're calling it. So as you can see, you can see some of the E6000 that kind of see that we have for security. Staples for security are to cover up all that. So And this is going to look perfect when it is done. So I didn't want anything too glossy. So I picked up this satin Rust-Oleum spray paint in black. And then I am going to be sealing it because I don't want the paint to scratch off or anything like that. And then once we have it, I'm going to use this little set that comes with different ways to hang um, 
pictures and things of that nature. And I'm going to add one to each side. And our own DIY mug rack is this for so much less than what they charge for them. It was definitely under $10. I was pretty happy with how it turned out. I don't have it fully decorated yet the way I'd like, but let me know what you think. And uh, let me know if you're going to do one of these for yourself. Have a good night, friends. Bye. Thank you for stopping by my channel today. If you are looking for creative inspiration, ideas on how to decorate on a budget, or just looking for a fun community of friends, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the drop down menu so you can be one of the first to get notified every time I upload a new video. Also be sure to follow me over on Instagram at home with Rebecca Jane, where I post even more tips and ideas on home decorating.